Just to finish setting up, sorry. I'm gonna hop over here now. Alright. Are you ready to enter hell? <laughs> <laughs> okay. I mean, that, that's more directed to Dan than Preston, but... <laughs> Hey, we got the final four all gathered around the cool. stream station. That's pretty funny. <laughs> cool, cool. All right. Hi. Right. Let's go. Yeah, yeah, we're ready. I'm great. Let's go. All right, here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Winners finals. Oh, what, what the, the, the fuck is this? Uh oh. Uh oh. Dan, what are you doing? Apes. <laughs> Dirty apes? Has, has Fruit Basket's worst nightmare come to fruition? The rise of Diddy Kong in Hawaii? Oh, <laughs> or no. Or not. <laughs> okay. Oh, <laughs> oh, oh, oh. <laughs> okay. That's, that's rough. Oh, 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 oh. That's rough. Yeah, you gotta, what, ride up uh, diagonally, right? You can't slam into the stage horizontally, if I'm not mistaken. Diddy Kong. In 20, Dan M using Diddy in 2017. It's a metagame. It's pretty outrageous. Well, I mean, there's not much to say so far. <laughs> <It's> <laughs> I'm sorry. It's just <laughs> yeah, there's, there's really nothing to say. It's Bayonetta spitting like an idiot, and Diddy just standing there with a damn banana. Damn banana. A damn M banana. <laughs> Alright, here we go. We've got some action. No, does he have a jump? No, he does not. Oh, not gonna make Dan it back. M All doing right. the thing where if you barrels in a hit stun, he sinks like a boulder. It's because he used his jump, so he had to. Yeah, well, he, 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 he needed to wait a little bit because he was guaranteed dead if he fast fell with it. Okay, so, oh, okay, I did not know that. So if you do it immediately, you'll fall. If you do it while you're still like in like hit stun or like momentum of the hit, I think, or something like that. Oh, okay, that's interesting. Yeah, you, you can't mash it. But if you just wait a second, you'll get the float. If you wait a little bit, yes, you'll, you'll right, get the right, normal right. fall. Good to know. Good to know. Well, Dan M's Diddy didn't really work out very well. <laughs> did he switch? <laughs> he did. Okay. Immediately onto Blood Falcon. Probably for the best. Or the worst. <laughs> well, I mean, if the Diddy doesn't work, then what, what else do you have against this character? Ganon. <laughs> hey, it's it's happened before. There's always Ganon. Ganon has... I mean, a Japanese Ganon has beaten a Bayo before. So, somehow. I guess. I mean, I've seen it on stream. I, I don't know how. Maybe the bail was completely out of trash. I don't know. Uh, might have been a glitch. I don't know. <laughs> might have been a glitch in the game. It's not supposed to happen. Oh, I thought. No oh, double jump for Dan. He's in trouble. But okay, okay. So Preston giving him the first stock this time. Maybe we're Dana maybe we're just agreeing to a one. best of three. This is a, you know, their their way of saying we don't feel like dragging this out for five games. We're just gonna tie things up one one and. Take it to take it to a best of three. Respect that. Or is Fruit Basket gonna bring this right back? Oh well, Dan trying to wait for the Yeah, he does get small punish. Reads that, that witch time. Or rather waits out that witch time, I should say. Yeah, it actually looks like a bit of a normal game, 81-29. With the second stock. So <laughs> despite the SD, Fruit Basket's still holding his own pretty well. Dan trying to play oh, as that patient as that possible. That was unsafe if I, my eyes are not playing tricks on me. I think it was. I'm yeah, not sure. That was a very high Neron shield. No way that should have been safe. Okay, lots of damage on Dan, but does get the drift. <coughs> okay, Uppy's going to bail him out of that tricky situation. I think Dan actually stays spiking him with that. Oh my god. Ah! It's a pretty nasty setup that Fruit Basket was going for. Scheming for something nuts. Dana making good use of Falcon's drift. Yeah, he is he is doing everything he can to avoid those stilettos. Oh? The fruit basket trying to shove those down his throat. That's a forward throw. Not oh it does! Smashville, baby! Smashville with those narrow platforms. Or sides, say. Yeah, much smaller than average. So we are down the last stock. Fruit basket bringing it back after that very early SD. Uh, Danim still with a very nice lead though. It's very weird because Smashville was not this narrow in Brawl. I get attested. It's one of those that. like weird like porting, like how they screwed up the port of Dreamland 64 on the. Melee. I honestly wouldn't be surprised yeah. if it was because of the fact that they just copy pasted it. Yeah. 
Because that's what happened with Dreamland in melee. They copy pasted it. Oh, and he's and lucky they... he didn't get Jill sandwiched in between. Oh, the this ledge. is not looking good for Dan. Missed the ledge, and he's. Oh no, he tried. I think he tried to grab him with the command grab of the Falcon. He lived. Yeah, Preston not completing the edge guard. He was definitely still alive. Yeah, Fruit there. Basket, I think he was looking to cover the, the platform because he thought that's where Dan was going. And maybe that's where Dan tried to go, but he fell through the platform and ended up grabbing the ledge anyway. Yeah, you gotta hit Falcon out, but you can't give him a chase. Oh, Dan M just living in that shield. Missed an opportunity to punish yeah. him. Yeah. This could be a rough game for Dan to drop if he sh so should. Oh, wow. Just reads the rollback. Okay. Side B's coming. I can smell it. Once he get, if he gets him to like a hundred. Granted, side, side B on Bale is kind of risky a little bit because if he misses, that could be death. Good drift away, but I think that might be. Should GGs. be able to clean this up. No, what? Just smash. Oh, it actually gets it. What do you know? See, like I said, yeah. side B. But yeah, like just charge a smash there. He has to. He has to up B right away. Or you could just poke with down tilt and set up into something else too. Because at that percent, down tilt can set up, and he's gonna be drifting in, yeah, right? So like, down tilt will set up until a kill confirm. Yeah, in that situation, like you don't want to. I, I don't think you want to nair there because Danim has seen that like five times already. So he's gonna try to outplay it. It would have been better, I think, if he just charged forward smash or something or down smash. All right, uh, here we go. Game three. Opportunity is gonna be... wasted there for yep. sure. So it's one one. Game three is gonna run it back to Smashville. I mean, clearly that early SD. Big factor. So we'll see. Oh, it's the fair. Platform may have screwed him up. Oh, covers the tech away on the platform. Gets a lot of damage out of that. Can't really complete it off of anything else, but still. All right, unsafe side B. Going to be punished. Tried to go oh, for gets the footstool. reset. Fortunately, Dan not really known to be able to do the down air footstool combos. All right, punishes One, two, that unsafe jab. Uh oh, Dan. He's alive. He, now not he's anymore. Dead, finally. Yeah. I think Dan might have made a mistake by accidentally drifting off the stage when he didn't want to. Sometimes you just need to back air. Yeah. Preston was trying to go for a lot of up Bs and, and nares. nares yeah. yeah. But sometimes the back air is just the best bet. I agree. Especially when you have a back air that good. Oh, Dan I'm whiffing jab there, getting blown up by slide kick. All right. Basic kind of poking at his shield from a safe distance. Oh, not so safe that time. Oh, Preston dropping his shield there. Interesting. The platform actually helped Dan because there was no way for Proof Basic to really get out because it was moving with the jabs. Oh. Alright, dive kicks into him once again. Oh, that oh, shield really small. I don't think he could... I don't know if he can really shield any of these attacks. Especially I think that was a shield not, poke, yeah. Especially if he's not going to tilt his shield. You got to tilt your shield when it's small. Okay, guess up here. Unable to find a second up here though. Ah, messes up his punish. Not really in the right place. Unsafe. But Danim had his back to him, so it was kind of hard to punish. Punch was a little awkward. Oh. Oh, Danim dropping the shield, shield there. Drop. Gets him back on stage. Did like P P Preston's uh, off stage conversion is starting to show a little bit. He's definitely uh He seems un unfamiliar with how to uh how to trap uh Dan M off stage. <coughs> he's trying to find these upbeat traps to just suck him out of the double jump and then go from there, but he's having a hard time doing it, you know, to effectively trap him. But I mean it's it's not hurting him too bad considering how dominating he is in the neutral and on the ledge. Good tech. Tried the back here to side B. But kind of mistimed it. Dan, I'm going for the pivot grab there because he knows he needs the ledge in order to finish him. Okay. Crazy bounce, but not going to really give Dan M anything. Well, the game dropping some weird frames there. Yeah. All right, so if Dan finally finds the fourth throw to get that first stock. 140. He won't die from fourth throw yet, I don't think. Smashville, but no ridge on Bayo. Well, right now, uh, Preston should be looking for just like down tilt setups or. Yeah. Something in the up air. That's probably his safest bet right now instead of trying to grab Dan. He's just trying to pressure him. And Dan, I think, is also on point too. If he stands up next near the ledge, Fubaski can just get a grab and kill him. Well, he's also. You can also witch time him too. Because, uh, yeah, there is that too. So Dan needs to watch his jabs. Oh? Jab him that way. 
Well, he could have down tilt punished that. Preston could have witch timed right there. Yeah. Plus, the Falcon down tilt is slow enough, or laggy enough, I should say, where he can, uh, for best, he should be able to down tilt punish that out of shield. Um, 144, this is actually scary. I think an F smash into large could kill Bayonetta. I know, down throw knee will. If your basket does not DI properly. Again, Danem playing so patient when he's at kill percent and not like when he's no, at you're, zero. No, I, I remember hearing that middle of my set. You guys are absolutely right. If he plays like this. If he played like this from one, the start, like it would be so much harder for Preston to hit him. Because it's not like Falcon's conversions change when he gets rage. Is oh, it? he finally gets a roll yeah, read and him. does clean up this game. But yeah, like you said, that, that patient play down the stretch. Both players struggling to find any openings against each other, and that's, mm -hmm. you know, I mean, speaking from experience, it, it's it's good. It's really good. It's really good play. Yeah, the only difference is that uh, Danem didn't really have the percent to work with at that point. Just couldn't yeah. take any trades. And then the clock starts ticking, and then all of a sudden, you're the one who has to go. And once you're the yeah. one who has to go, well, you open yourself up and screw so yourself. I'd really like to see him play more slowly at the beginning and not fish so much. Also, he needs to use Falcon's uh, ground speed and look for any RCO landings that he can get. Yeah, that's that's why Sonic and Falcon. Um, I'm not gonna say they beat Bale or like I can't. I mean, I won't go into the match <laughs> specifics, but they do. I think they do well enough against they can Bale. At least punish it. Yeah, I think they have they good enough matchups because of their speed. You once Bale goes into the air, you just start running back and forth on the ground and get ready to punish because you have good up airs and you have good ground speed. They just run and grab. So you don't have to worry about which time as much if you're just running and grabbing Bayonetta all the time. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, he overshot the grab there. Falcon is really weird because his dash grab slides him very far forward like ZSS. Yeah, so you actually have to kind of position it where your opponent's like a little bit uh, in front of you. Otherwise, you'll actually cross him up on accident. He's stuck in shield because he knows he overextended. He was afraid to move. Yeah, that look at all this spinning from Bayonetta. Every good character has a spin. True. Although we kind of concluded that a lot of characters have spins in this game. <laughs> well, everyone's good. Apparently. I mean, it's a very balanced game. Well, very good shield pressure from Free Pass. just going up and down like an elevator with uh, the Bayonetta uh, specials. And he tried to witch time out of that combo. Unfortunately, the combo See, was... I, I don't like Dana running back to the middle like that. He forfeits all of his pressure. It accomplishes nothing. Yeah, Bale's back to stage options aren't the best. Um... Really, the best thing she can do is just jump from the ledge. And so you can shield pretty much anything she does as far as jumping from the ledge yeah, goes. She has no command grab in the air, so you, you can wait her out. So yeah, so you can just jump out of shield with up air, or you can up tilt if you have a good enough up tilt. Oh, again. Yeah, you got to be careful. The bayonetas, when they bounce on your shield with forward air, they're trying to get you to drop. Cannot grab that. Again, running back to the middle, the Danem victory lap that he always seems to do. <laughs> The victory lap one. Yes, I won neutral. A la El Fuerte with the habanero dash. Oh. You can see Free Basket went for a lot of these empty hops, trying to find something. Finds a back air there to cover the roll. Jump in air, covers him on the ledge. Damn, very See, patient. I like I like where Preston's standing. Like, Preston's standing at a, at a decent place. Yeah, because he can react, he can, uh, he can react based on where easier. he's going. Yeah, it's way better than stand uh, running to middle stage. Uh, I'm not sure what Freebass was looking for with those jabs. Might have screwed up something. Oh my god. Oh, hello. Is that oh, traded? barely didn't reach that. Could yeah. have been his stock. <laughs> Man, if that knee traded. Oh, nice tomahawk, but good mash out by Dan. Not it wouldn't have that. killed, though, I don't think. Could be yeah, wrong. Correct. Yeah. Alright. Very high percent of both players. Very patient game being played. But Dan M caught scared. Trying to preemptively spot dodge, and Fubasica is just going to drop the stiletto on him. Fubasica walking up very confidently. That's the other thing, too. Uh, I haven't seen Fubasica utilize it. Oh, is this... Doesn't get the last four there. Good DI from Dan. Oh, Good he... tech. What was that? <gasps> he tried Almost. to um, back air him, I think, when I think uh, he probably should have nared instead. The nair would have came off faster. In that situation, just mm -hmm. because he knew the up B's coming yeah. right away. Oh, Preston not mashing out. I was going to say, uh, Fruit Basket, something you haven't seen him utilize much in the set so far, but could be pretty useful. Oh, wow. Rare moments where Fruit Basket actually side being onto stage because he, he sees that Danim is giving up so much stage control. Yeah, it pays off too. But uh, Fruit Basket not utilizing Bale's crouch <laughs> as much. Granted, he doesn't need to, mm -hmm. but the crouch is so low, I believe Falcon's grab a whiff on it. 
if I'm not mistaken, because it's kind of like uh, that was almost it. Z suit and Kirby uh, mm, crouches. Which time? Yeah, and Danov did not punish appropriately. He oh, had time. There you go. Freebie. That's a freebie. Okay, 83 on Dan. We kind of saw this in the last game, though. Dan kind of had a lot of time to bring it back. His fruit basket had struggled to put him away. Yep. Ouch. Yeah, these empty hops getting blown up by the back airs. I think Dan is looking for like an empty hop, like falling up air to start something. They got a combo break with the forward air. Gets the side B to side mm -hmm. B to the nair. That's going to wrap it up. 3-1 to fruit basket. Yeah, Moves Bayonetta, on to grand finals. Danetta continuing to be a big problem uh, for, for Dan M. Understandably so. I will say, he played that matchup, though, way better than he's ever played it. That game three was probably the best he's played it. But again, I still don't agree with him uh, not walking it, up it's, a little bit closer to the edge, the pressure. I'd say it's just the fear, you that's know. That's just my opinion. Yeah, though. the fear of Bayonetta sometimes causes players to give up a little too much. Well, I mean, Dan M does that against every character, mm. pretty much.